people, May 28th, 2024, on this Gregorian calendar, we're looking at the Earth Magneto's Pause. That Magneto's Pause is Earth electrical magnetic field that actually protects us supposedly from harmful solar radiation. These magnetic fields is at the North Pole and at the South Pole, stretches across the planet, and the sun is over here this is where the sun at so the earth is in the middle the earth is right here in the middle the white side is the daytime side the black is the nighttime side so the sun is over here this is where the sun is at so this is the dome right here this is the dome so the energy from the sun as you can see is is crushing the dome crushing the dome as you can clearly see and then you have the back side of the planet the nighttime side of the planet right here look at this energy right here look at this energy look at this energy and if you look closely my people if you look very closely in this if you look closely this is dark purple this is dark purple no one I'm trying not trying to force anybody to see this I'm trying to force anybody this is dark purple right here this is dark this is dark purple in there. And that is high, highly charged particles. The earth is enveloped, enveloped with charged particles. And it's nothing that they can do about it. Nothing. Look at this energy. Backside, night, nighttime side, daytime side. And I believe that this energy right here is underneath the planet and it's coming to the top. I believe this is underneath the the planet now we go up here to what solar wind we look at solar wind look at this right here how did fast did it get solar wind got up to 357 kilometers per x second equals how many miles per hour uh, may 28th 2024 currently right now with the solar wind the solar wind represents the cosmic particles that is coming from the sun over here some of them should hit the dome, travel out into the solar system. However, when you look at the Earth and you look at these arrows, you see that these arrows are reversing. Look at these arrows right here, reversing. These arrows are reversing back into the planet. Look, reversing. These arrows are reversing back into the planet. Look, reversing back into the planet. Solar wind. So what's on the nighttime side of the planet? that has equal amount or is stronger than the sun that is emitting ultraviolet light. What is on the nighttime side of the planet that is giving up these charged particles? Huh? What's on there? Pause. Here we go, my people. Again, we had an X flare within the last 24 hours. We had a strong X flare within the last 24 hours. Now, with that being stated, with that X flare in the last 24 hours, look at the C flares. Look how it's increasing. Look at how it's increasing. Look at the X flare and look at the C flares. Look at how it's increasing. My people, you think being in a C flare range is, 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 they, they think, oh, just being in a C flare, we're not getting M flares and X flares. That's okay. No, it's not. What you don't understand is the C flares are maintaining and keeping the wound open. The M flares and the X flares opens the wound even more, but the C flares is maintaining its, is, 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 is consistency. And it's keeping the wound open. It is keeping your atoms, not our atoms, but it's keeping uh, their atoms open. It's keeping all atoms, you understand? It's opening up like a lotus flower as UVA, UVB, and now UVC radiation is changing everything on the planet. It's nothing that they can do about this, my people. This is going to intensify as it goes further. You've seen those, you've seen what happened in the in down in Texas with that deadly tornado and the damage that it caused. Nocturnal tornadoes at nighttime are the dangerous because you can't see them and what took place with us at nighttime. Huh? Okay, here we go, my people. All I did was push this towards the end instead of going backwards and moving it forward. So I want to keep it right here for right here. It's all the way up to 526 24. Hold on for one second. Why is this not far? It should be more than that. Okay, this is current. This is 526. Here we go. May 26, 2024 on this Gregorian calendar. This is looking at Earth's sunspot. So if you look at right here, this is turning 
this right here is turning away from Earth. And this right here is turning towards Earth. Now, what's going to happen is I want to let y'all know. You see this over here? You see these sunspots right here? This is going to be major over the next 24 to 48 hours. 48 hours, my people, I'm letting you know. We're going to start to get hit with some charged particles. We're already getting hit consistently. I just want you to understand this. But this here is where the M flares and the X flares are going to increase again on the planet. So again, my people, prepare yourself for what's coming. This energy has to be released through the planet. It is going through what you hit when it hits the dome. It hits the North Pole and the South Pole, travels into the core of the planet, then is released through the body of the planet. This is coming through your feet, coming through the, the surface of the planet. So right now, it's good for grind, grounding, grounding, putting your feet inside of the dirt, touching trees, talking to nature. And don't do it just to be, you know, you, you want to do something just to be like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. No, you have to really know within your heart that you are actually bonding with these elements. And if you're not, then if you just think it's just a game or you're just trying to do something just to feel a part of something you want to you want to be a part of the wave you understand you want to actually just you know i'm actually i'm if you want to you want to you want to just be a part of something instead of actually uh uh uh, uh being it you see what I'm saying to you? I am. I don't want to just be a part of the universe. I acknowledge that I am the universe walking in the flesh. That is a difference. You see what I'm saying to you? So now I don't just want to ride the wave and be like, oh, this is a new fad. This is what we should be talking about now in the sun, genetics, star family. Extra, no, that's got to be already in your soul. I talk about grounding, you know what I'm saying, hugging trees, actually talking and communicating with nature. That already had to be already in you. Somebody had to tell you this and all of a sudden now you just going out there to do it just to be like oh i'm doing it because it just sounds like it's a good fad or something cool to be doing instead of saying damn you know what you felt that in your soul just like when you heard not eating meat and or eating food that produces mucus and acid and inflammation in the body is no good as soon as you heard that you ain't argue with this shit and be like oh no i shouldn't be eating. oh no you actually did the research more and then quickly stopped it you ain't had no excuses oh i need to wean myself off of it no i need to i need to take my time get no you actually stop that shit immediately so that's the difference my people and don't let nobody knock you for your discipline I value and appreciate you. Some blood weather update. You must have the blood of the sun and the heart and the mind and the consciousness and the awareness of the entire cosmos in order to move forward in what we call the great awakening, the age of Aquarius, the age of light where darkness can't exist and the truth is more disturbing than a lie. Abundance and gratitude to you all.